Welcome back to Aero Channel. In this lecture, we are gonna show what is the difference between driving and driven dimensions. So here we have a front view on the left side and on the right side. On the left side, we have here dimensions in the black and on the right side, we have dimensions in the grey color. On the left side, those dimensions are called driving dimensions. And those one on the right side, we call driven dimensions. Now, what is the difference really between those two types of dimensions? For example, if we go here to the diameter of 40mm and we double click here, and we change this diameter to 60mm. Nothing happens. But if we go here to rebuild, let's click rebuild. Now we can see that those changes are applied to all model dimensions, and this is driving dimensions. If we go to driven dimensions, if we double click here, you see that we can change it. We can go here to the left side to the properties, and here we can override value. For example, now we have 60, we can go to 70, for example. Let's click OK. And now here we have a 70. But if we go now here to repeal, nothing happens. The model dimensions are not changed. So, driving dimensions are dimensions that are affecting the dimensions of the model. While driven dimensions don't affect model dimensions, they are only used as a reference or representation of the model dimensions. So again, if we go here to driving dimension, double click, we go here to 66 for example, let's click OK, let's go with rebuild, like this, so here we have 66, and also here we have 66, but we can go here, and we can uncheck override value, let's click OK, and now we can see it's 66. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like, hopes it can be a little helpful and useful.